Hey, how's it going guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel. So, first things first, I want to give a big shout out to World's Finest Gamer for finding this easier method of the Give Cars to Friends glitch. However, a lot of you are having issues of, you know, getting pulled up into the clouds when you accept the job alerts. But last night, I actually figured out a way to get it to work 100% of the time. 100%. I gave 30 cars away last night and did not get pulled into the clouds once. So, <clears throat> what's going to happen is, obviously you know, if you're the one receiving cars, you cannot be the host of the session. I did this in a closed friend session, but I'm pretty sure it would work in any other kind of session also. I have not tested it, so don't like quote me on that that it will work but if you follow my directions in this video like exactly how I do it you will hit this 100% of the time unfortunately you do have to find a new session afterwards because the lobby is you know you can't back to back give cars to the same person so I have my friend in another session and they are going to invite me to that right now <clears throat> All right, so we're going to load up into their session, maybe, if it gets the session details. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, and then once we load into the session, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty much the same thing, um, but there is one slight difference and I'm not trying to claim founder to this glitch at all because obviously it's not mine it's world finest gamers but I would like to be acknowledged for finding this one piece that will legit 100% of the time work I'm not asking for credit I just want people to acknowledge this all right so we are in the session I'm just gonna go grab a car so I can drive to my MOC. You know, I really hate these animations. Like, they really take forever. J <clears throat> and drive down the street. Um, I'm not sure if this is like MOC location sensitive. Like I know that doing it the original way, if your MOC is parked in some areas, it won't work. Uh, so I'm not sure if this works the same way or not, but Every location, oh, I gotta get out of the car. Every location that I have tried this in has worked, so I'm pretty sure it works wherever. All right, so we're gonna request the MOC. Request the MOC. Please park it over here, please park it over here. Ah, damn it, he parked it over here. Okay. I guess I was too close to that location for him to deliver it right there. But it's okay, because it works over here, too. <sighs> I was just hoping I could get it parked over there, because I was already close to that spot, you know. So, we are here at our own MOC. So what's going to happen is... You want to make sure that you have a car in the back of this. I know all the other videos say that your MOC has to be empty. It does not. Okay, so my, my MOC is empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a garage that has a regular LG RH8 in it. It doesn't have to be an RH8 because you're not going to be like replacing over that car. Like you're not going to lose the car that's in here. I just prefer to have a free elegy in there just in case something 
like just in case I mess something up and freaking it does replace it. So we're gonna start a motorcycle club so I can return this car to storage. <clears throat> now we're gonna disband. This is not like a necess ne necessary. This is not a necessary step in the glitch. This is just me showing you that what you need to do. Like, <clears throat> you don't have to register as an MOC and send your car back or whatever if you already have a car in there. So let's see. We have a free LG RH8 in this garage. So we'll just wait for that to be delivered. My friend actually needs to drive over here so he can give me his truck. I'm getting Trevor's truck with the little teddy bear in the front. I have another friend that has the truck also, but his has the teddy bear and the horns. The one I'm getting right now does not have the horns, which sucks, but I'm just excited to have a truck with the teddy bear on it. Alright, so my friend is here. He's just going to park his car right there. Alright, and my elegy is here. Elegy, elegy. I have a chrome elegy. Huh. Oh well. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to park this bad boy right up in here. <clears throat> And you also do not have to use a street car. Like if you're getting a car from a friend and you want to keep their plate, the car that you drive up to the MOC can be a free elegy. It works the same way. The, the street car will cause a random generated plate to be put on the car that you are, you know, getting from your friend. So if you want to keep the plate that's on there, use a regular RH8. All right, so we have our street car. Friend's going to get out of the car and come get in this one. <clears throat> and then we're going to pull up behind the truck. Maybe if I could learn how to drive. Whoa. All right. So we're sitting here, we have that message, right? Your friend starts up a job. Now, I don't know if this will work with any job. I've been using Titan of a job. So if you, <clears throat> if you want it to work 100% like I've been doing, I suggest you use Titan of a job. So he's in the job. So now we're gonna go over to the friends tab. Oh automatic invite if you're on xbox and you get an automatic invite do not accept it so be careful when you're you know doing this step so that you don't automatically accept the automatic invite all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the friends tab and we are going to join who where are you all right i guess i'm not friends with it so or i am and it's just like way at the bottom of the freaking list or something you can join from the players tab also. So we're gonna join from the players tab. We're gonna have them back out of the job. <clears throat> Once they get back on the ground, they just run back over to the car, get in the car, same steps as before, you know. They're gonna register as a CEO or a motorcycle club president and start up an executive search or a sightseer or the caged in, you know, a mission like that. And once they have it started up, they will let you know. And this is where the easy part comes in. So what you're going to do is hit right on the D-pad. You see this message here, right? Okay, so click B so that you have your job alert back up. And then click right on the D-pad and A at the same time. Oh, if that happens and this message pops up again, just click B again. All right, you see how it flashed real fast? That's good. Now do it again. Write an A at the same time. Boom, frozen. Just like that. No clouds. 
works 100% of the time. And once you get, you open your interaction menu, get out of the car. Once you're out of the car, you can close the interaction menu, go sit in your friend's car, and boom, we're in. It's, it's that easy. So that's that's the only difference. Car in the MOC, and then right on the D-pad and A at the same time. And remember, if the if the car transfer screen pops back up, click B. You don't want that screen to be on top. You want the job alert to be on top. And it usually does take me two times, right, and A on the D-pad, twice for the car to get frozen. So once you have the car in your MOC, you're going to get back in it, drive out, where the hell did it put me? Uh, where am I? Oh my god, where am I? I'm just kidding guys, I know where I'm at. Oh, I don't want to go up. Wrong way. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, once you, once you get the car, you pull out of your MOC, and then get drive back in the MOC or it won't save. If you only pull it out and then try to put it in a different garage, it will not save. You have to pull it out of the MOC and then pull it back in. And once you do that, once you pull it back into the MOC, it is yours. Um, but yeah. So now I have the same truck as my friend over here. And I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not really any different. It just ensures that you will not get pulled up into the clouds. If you do it that way, you will not get pulled up into the clouds. And that's all I have for you today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please click that button as well. And uh, don't forget to click the little bell next to my name so that you don't miss out on future videos or live streams. And yeah, that's it.